stone platform with a hole in the middle. A depression in the ground. Hmm. Could it? Is that? It is! An ancient human ritual place. One of the good ones. Very good, Tanero. You found a suitable place for the ritual. And how do you activate that thing? Good question. Wow! Hey! Talk about the right place for a ritual. That's a proper protective circle. Now we just need to figure out what those symbols mean. Some sort of symbol. No idea what it's supposed to mean. Some sort of symbol. No idea what it's supposed to mean. Physics by Aristotle with 20 color plates. Phew, that's one thick book. Legenda Aurea by Jacobus de Vorain. Hey, I know that one. It's full of martyr stories. Why doesn't that surprise me? These are great bedtime stories. The title is Flagellation. Promising. A book about homunculuses. Homunculi. Whatever. The title is... Talk. Have a look in... The title is The Fifth Element. Existence Beyond the Four Elements. No author. Strange. And the symbol on the book's spine is the same as on one of the stones in the stone circle. A hexagram. May I borrow this book? Then the other one stays here. And it's always a pleasure to see them come home again. Here it says, as steeped in legend as the existence of the fifth element may be, there can be no doubt that there can be no expression of intention without the reflection of this meta level. Goodness me, that's some heavy stuff. And the symbol on the book's spine is the same as on one of the stones in the stone circle, a hexagram. It says here, the fifth element is more than just the quintessence or the ether of the meta-element that lies between and behind everything. And ultimately, every author avoids its clear definition, of which every practitioner takes a different view. Oh dear. And it just keeps on like that. In an operation of intention, the fifth element thus represents the quintessence and thus both the ability to be able to perform this operation adequately as well as the proper authorization. And what does that mean? Well, you could see a ritual as an operation of intention. Really? She's right. A ritual is about achieving something. You have a plan that you want to implement. Uh-huh. And that's why the symbol in a ritual stands for both the authorization, the permission to do something, and the ability, the power to actually conduct it. And uh, that means? It means that you need something that gives you the right to act in God's name on Earth. And that you need something that you can use to separate the demon from Greta. Some kind of tool. Happy hunting. Physics by Aristotle, with 20 color plates. Phew, that's one thick book. Here it says, every material is classified by a passive and an active primal quality. The passive qualities are hot and cold, the active wet and dry. The combination of passive and active qualities produces an element. Dry and cold produce earth, dry and warm, produce fire. Wet and warm produce air, 
wet and cold, produce water. Just as warm ascends and cold descends, the symbol for warm points up, while the symbol for cold points down. Hey, the symbols in the book are the same as those on the stones in the circle. It goes on. Our world is composed of the four elements, earth, water, air, and fire. Each of these four elements is assigned a precise location. At the center of the world lies earth, heavy and immobile, in its natural place. Around it lie the spheres of the four elements. Uh-huh. So four of the five symbols represent the four elements, fire, earth, water, and air. Hello, Father Bartholomew. Uh, hello, Talarail. Why does an exorcism have to be a ritual in the first place? An exorcism is not a simple matter. We must free Greta's secular body of the otherworldly possession and reclaim her soul. And how do we do that? It's not that easy. Rituals work through symbols. We must see to it that every power, every factor in the ritual, is somehow represented by symbols or symbolic objects. Then the symbol's powers join forces, and the ritual's effect unfolds. And the powers do what they're supposed to do? Uh, in theory. I found a suitable location for the exorcism. Oh, very good. Where? There's an ancient stone circle up near the old mill. Is it suitable for such an important ritual? Uh, uh, can you draw a uh, circle of protection there, for example? Yeah, you can. There's even a protective circle there. I already activated it. It still works. Very good. Very good. I found out something about these triangle symbols. They stand for the four elements. Earth, water, fire, and air. Excellent, my son. I guess that makes sense. The four elements represent the holistic secular creation, so that you can address Greta in her entirety. Her body, her soul, her spirit, and her mind. Do you already know how to use the four elements? Well, I think I have to combine them with the stones. There's a kind of bowl in front of each one. That's how it seems you activate them. Good, good, my boy. Then gather all four elements together and try them out first. Do you still have a few candles for the fire in the ritual? Unfortunately, no. Greta's thousands of vigils and offertories have exhausted our entire stock. You'll have to come up with something else. I found out something about the hexagram. In a ritual, it is supposed to represent the authorization and the ability to perform that ritual. Very interesting. But it makes sense. You must have the right to perform a ritual in God's name, and you need a tool to use when performing the exorcism. What could be considered justification so that I can act in God's name on Earth? Hmm. We are battling powers that far exceed any that exist here on Earth. We need God's help, so to say, his permission, to perform a heavenly deed upon Earth in his name. The only one on Earth who has that is the Pope, symbolized by the papal or Peter's keys. Now that we have an appropriate place for the ritual, how do we get Greta out there? She's not likely to march out there on her own, is she? Hmm. Yes, that might prove difficult. Greta locked herself in her chambers right after she had you and Bloomford arrested. The sounds coming from her chambers indicate she's not quite herself at the moment. What did come out was a mirror, which she threw out of the window. It looks like we're going to need physical help. Sounds to me like a job for McCallum. Hmm. That might just prove a tad difficult. Why? Well, I sort of broke out of jail together with Bloomford, and kind of gave him a bit of an electric shock in the process. And well, then somehow locked him up. Oh dear, yes, I remember. 
Well, then you'll have to find someone else to help you. But who? You have to ask someone whom you trust and who meets the physical requirements needed to get Greta to the ritual site in her current state. What would I need to empower me to perform the exorcism ritual? Hmm... That's a good question. You'll need a really powerful artifact that will let you separate the possessed, in this case Greta, from the possessor, whatever that something is. I have a ritual sequence. Look. Very good, but that isn't completed yet. You require the complete sequence for the ritual. We can't start until we have that. The correct planning of a ritual is everything, especially one as dangerous as an exorcism. I'll be going then. The symbol on this stone means air. Nice of the church to offer that here. It's movable. Could that be the back of the locking mechanism? I think you mean the front. Huh, what? Well, you crashed through the ceiling into the catacombs. This is probably the correct entrance. That's right. And no one could enter the catacombs because the locking mechanism was broken. Until I fixed it. <sighs> Someone's shooting at me. What kind of world is this? The same inscription as on the other side. Only three of the same heart and the same step are worthy of leaving. Almost the same inscription. The other side says leave. This side says enter. This whole matter thing is kind of exciting. Ah, that works. A symbol. Looks like a Z with a kind of flourish. Seems familiar. I think that's one Church. of the symbols I found. A symbol. Looks like an ornate H. Seems familiar. I think that's one of the symbols I found on the icons in the church. Look, the symbol won't stop shining. Now two of the symbols are shining. All the symbols are lit up. So what happens now?
What's going on? Looks like some kind of gondola. Well then, up you go. Oh boy. Heaven almighty! Now that's what I call an armory. Ouch! Right, I guess I can't just take it that easily after all. Looks like some kind of crystal or prism. Seems it focuses the light into a beam that falls on the sword. Hmm, I'll tear a piece off here. I can't reach that. I can't do that. I can't reach that. Oh, they can be reorganized. Why don't you put them together to make something really strange? It won't work like that. It won't work like that. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that? Oh, they can be reorganized. Why don't you put them together to make something really strange? Why would I want to do that? It won't work like that. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that? It won't work like that. Oh, they can be reorganized. Why don't you put them together to make something really strange? It won't work like that.
Ha! Bullseye! Now a little less light passes through the prism. And another one! Yes, got it. Now there's not so much light going through the prism anymore. All right! Now there's no more light hitting the prism. It seems the fire has disappeared from Michael's sword, seeing as it's hidden from God's light. Kinda looks smaller without the fire. That's the way it is sometimes. All right, okay, that won't work either. Hmm. Ha! I actually have Michael's sword. Who knew? But now let's get back to the surface so that we can perform the exorcism and you can get back to heaven before anyone finds out you were gone. Michael is going to be so embarrassed when you show up with his sword. <laughs> Someone's shooting at me. <laughs> Someone's shooting at me. Outrageous. <laughs> Someone's shooting at me. Someone's shooting at me. <laughs> Someone's shooting at me. <laughs> <laughs> 